Okay, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to sign you up for a College Board account. College Board accounts are really helpful to be able to see PSAT scores, SAT scores, AP scores, registering for AP, uh, registering for SAT, getting financial aid help, doing college searches. So anybody that is remotely interested in college should have a College Board account. It all starts by going to the College Board website at collegeboard.org. And if you don't have an account, you click Sign Up. Tell them you're a student. And then you start entering the information to create your account. It's important to know that everything that has a red star is what you have to fill in. Oh, we'll just do the first name. George Washington is male. He was born on February 22nd, but I don't think they have the year 1732, so we'll pick something a little closer to today. His email address. You have to have an e a valid email address. One thing that I would also say is uh, don't use your school email address. Uh, use an, a, a private or personal email address to be able to get this information. Uh, our school email account is sometimes restricted on what it can receive emails from, and you don't want to miss out on any of the information. So pick your graduation date. Enter your zip code. Where do you go to school? You can start just typing in Bangor, and then the choices will pop up. You click Bangor High School, uh, and then you need to create an account. So your username, 6 to 15 characters made up of letters and numbers. So we're going to go with 5 star general. And the password, oh, now they're going to give us an error. That one is not available. Five star general 11. Okay, they're going to let us do it. So now that, uh, and that'll happen sometimes, the, uh, um, the words uh, might already be used. So, and that's interesting that five star general was already used. So your password, 9 to 30 characters long with at least one upper, one lowercase letter, one number, and one special character. So we are going to do teeth number hashtag one, because that's how many teeth George Washington had when he became president. Capital T-E-E-T-H number one. Oh, and it must be nine. Um, so we may find there. Okay. And security questions, uh, Ola's sibling's birthday. The answer is seven. Number 26, and personal information, you can type in your, um, your address, 35 Mount Vernon Road in Arlington, Virginia. I like to use George Washington. His cell phone is 207-555-1212. Except for this area code, that's the number to the White House. Do you want to get text messages uh, from College Board? Only check that. Subscriptions. Do you want them to send you information? You can choose yes or no. Parent information is not necessary unless you want College Board to send messages to your parents for you. Uh, 
Um, and then you have to agree to the terms and conditions. And, oh, they messed, I messed up, sorry. So the zip code, so we, we can't lie. We have to say Bangor, Maine. And click Next. And then you verify all of this information is correct. You confirm it. <clears throat> and your College Board account has been created. And it probably will send an email to the email account probably shortly after to let you know that you're in. Now, the other reason why this is important is because if you took the PSAT or the SAT um, this fall and you want to see your scores, which are now available, you can. Uh, there's an access code that your counselor can give to you. Uh, everybody has a unique code, and what that can do is that will link the scores into uh, your account that you now have. So that's how you set up your account and uh, the next step will be figuring out how to use that account to your best advantage. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.